Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Legend of Keepers. All right, guys. So, shall we get into this? I think we shall. Champion battle is upon us. Okay, so who do we get? Wow, that dude's on the kitty. Huh, yeah, we're... We're most definitely not going to survive this. Oh, I can already see this now. Okay, so this one has nature damage. Or minus on nature, minus nature and ice. Uh, plus nature, minus ice. This one's going to be the hard one. Nadrill. Hmm. She's also going to be the fast one. She's going to be the one that hits constantly. She's going to hit whoever's in the back. So she's going to work from the back to the front. Uh, the attack applies stunned if the Huntress is affected by at least one penalty. So she's going to stun. Uh. Okay. Applies enraged to all heroes with, uh, what does that say? All heroes when the Huntress kills a monster. So, yeah, she's going to enrage people. Okay. Not cool. Speed increased by 20. So, these two are going to hit the front. She's going to hit the back. The only one that's going to be alive will be in the middle for a minute. Yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be very, very bad. Um... Man, I don't even know where to begin. Part of me says do... I mean, that's going to put a, a thing on her, though. So, I mean... Yeah, any one of these that we do is going to put a thing on her. Uh... I don't know if I should go for morale or if I should just... She is weak against ice. I want to say being able to hurt her is probably going to be our best bet. But I almost guarantee she's going to be last. So, uh, who's our first group? We don't have any ice people in the first group. So, how is she on fire? 35%. Man. I guess we'll do this one. Not what I wanted to do, but it is what it is. So we got that. We'll do that. <sighs> I guess I would rather do this one, but with her attacking the back first, she's probably going to wipe out the back like instantly. I don't know. Let's try. Let, let's see what happens. Next trap, I guess we'll do another icy one. Yeah, we don't have any ice people back there. Uh, well, that one would put burn, but she's 35%. It's not going to really do a lot. Hmm. How's the armor? 1560 minus 25. So that one... That only does 10 damage, though. And then it's going to do another 5 times 2. So that's going to be a total of 20 life. Um, That's not a lot of life. I'm just going to keep doing ice damage. We don't have a whole lot of good options here, so yeah. <sighs> okay, he is level 3. Uh, you need to be up front. You need to be, like, tanking things. Uh, you up there. Let's see, how is their fire? Eh, this one's kind of weak to fire. That one's not really. And she is the same. Uh, this one does fire or let's see what does this one do uh, 
Maybe her, and then... He only does physical. This one does fire. Physical fire or this guy. I guess this one. Alright guys, will we win or will we lose? I have no clue. I have a feeling we're going to lose, but you know, we'll, we'll see. We shall see. Okay. Should I focus on the front one? I mean, she does a lot of air damage. They all do a lot of damage. Uh, replaces one of her penalties with a bonus at the start of her turn. Oh, she's going to just bonus up then. Um, yeah, I guess take her out. Hey, that one actually seemed like it hurt pretty good. do it oh she did it I told you not to so I can do an area uh, let's see applies burn to damage dealt doubled if the target is already burned target is not burned this one does damage and morale Hurt the back one, hurt them all. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, he tried to power up. It didn't do much good, but he tried. Yes, he gets another turn. Yeah, do another flame strike. We might not be as bad as I thought we were going to be. If he survives one more attack... Nope. Nope. Well, we tried. Okay, so what do we got? Yep, we're going to take her out right then and there. Just get rid of her. Yes, we should be able to win. Okay, so we can do this one or this one. Uh, what do you have? Negative, you have a plus, and then fire. Y'all are both positive on it. It does poison though. Okay. Ew, she stunned him. That's horrible. Uh, yeah, do that one again. Nice, yes, we got this. Um, oh, that she didn't even get to the uh, to the main dude. That's awesome. I like that. I do like that. So we can either get the orc sor sorcerer. Which does 14 fire damage, applies burn to passive. Monsters defeated come back as a skeleton warrior. So, I mean, that would give our guys, like, one extra chance to hit, maybe. We could get the Bewitched Glove, damage dealt by monsters to heroes at their maximum life, 
increased by 100%. So if they, well, that's only if they don't have any damage. So that's only going to be good for like the first initial hit. And if we have a trap, that's, yeah, not going to do us any good. Uh, lure, let's see, what does that do? Area, minus five morale applies multi-action to the next regular trap. Plus one trigger per stack. What? What is... I don't know what that is. Oh, so what do I want? Do I want this or do I want this? Um, um, decisions. I mean, because if that does, um, applies multi-action to the next regular trap. So does that mean the next trap <clears throat> fires twice? Because if that's the case, and I have someone weak against fire on the back line, I can use that for that mortar, and that mortar, if I have it leveled up, could wreck somebody's world. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Don't know if it's right or not, but I'm going to do it. Good work. We'd like to offer you a promotion. Oh, yeah. We got a promotion. All right. We are delighted to offer you the services of one of these interns who will have their own room in the dungeon. Oh, that means that. Yes. So this is going to be like a buffer between me and the rest of them. Oh, yeah. This is this is what I want right here. So we got the first dude. We got this. What is this little Hydra looking dude? Colossal Hydra. Uh, let's see, 25 fire, negative 25, 20, 30, and minus 10. That one does 70 physical, applies bleeding. 70 nature, applies poison. 21 fire, applies burn. So that one covers three different aspects. We can do physical, nature, or if anything else, we can hit them with an area fire effect. That... That's not bad. Who do we got over here? We've got a mermaid. Okay, she does 80 physical with 3 bleed. 24 nature and 16 morale. Applies demoralized. Passive. Attack deals 50% additional damage per 25% morale missing for the target. So if they're missing one thing of morale, one chunk 125 uh 125 percent they would she would do 50 percent so that'd be 120 if they were down to half morale when she got to them they'd she'd do 160 Ooh, but that's only to the back one and then 24 okay so what does this one have uh this is the father of the damned okay so it's like a lich king maybe uh let's see weak to fire and eh, zero on ice 10 on armor this one doesn't have a lot of stuff here 20 ice damage 30 morale applies frostbite 30 air damage minus 20 morale applies terrified gains enraged for each hero whose morale is under 75 percent at the start of his turn so if he gains enraged, that's a 10% enraged. So that's only, that's not going to do a whole lot. I'm thinking we do this, dude. I'm liking the Hydra. I am liking the Hydra. Oh, look, it put it right there too. Ha ha. Awesome. 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 All right. So let's see. What do we got? We've got the merchant. We've got the trainer and we got the engineer. I'm going to suggest we do the engineer and let's try to level up some of our things. So, can this do anything? See, I don't like this. So, it applies an extra frostbite if I go to level 3. Which... I wish I knew what frostbite did. Like, how much damage... Uh, 5% of the maximum life as ice damage per turn. Is that what frostbite is? Hmm, interesting. 
Uh, we could do this one, and that would give 25 ice damage. It would apply weakness. I could do this guy. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one. Because we were just talking about it with that lure thing. Uh, yeah, if we can do that, that'd be super awesome. Ooh. I can get it up to 60. I better not put it all into one. I better, I want to split it up. I think splitting it up would probably be the best thing right now. Or, waiting. Um, you know what? This goes up to 30. Yeah, upgrade that one. That way we have a good physical damage one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do... Let's do an... Actually, let me come up here and let me move some people around. You need to go back in there. Uh, you need to come down here. You go in there. You go in there. That gives me four all around. Okay. Okay. Let's do an event. Secret room. One of your employees has accidentally discovered a long lost secret tunnel. It leads to a treasure room filled with gold and housing a rare and valuable artifact. You can keep everything for yourself, reward your employee with some gold, or gift them the artifact, which would automatically give them one level. Okay, so if I keep it... I get this and the gold, which Nightmare Catcher demoralized deals 200% physical damage instead of moral. Um, so, I don't know how much demoralize does, but that's interesting. So, demoralized would end up being a physical attack we could do the reward that would give them that or we could offer them 200 gift reward or offer hold on I'm confused so which one gives them the level because if she had the level she would be pretty pretty strong uh filled with gold and housing a rare and valuable artifact you can keep everything for yourself keep reward your employee with some gold or give them the artifact okay so it should have said either offer or it should have said gift right here and we'll get 200 gold if we gift them the i'm giving i'm taking the gold I'm taking the gold because now she is level 2, right? Yes. Level 2. Nice. Applies air weakness 3 when attacking. So, yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, who has... He does air damage too. So, if I use her in conjunction with him... I'm checking to see who else has air damage stuff. He has air damage. Does that mean he has it? No. Because he's level 2. Okay. Okay. This one does air damage. So if I put... We might have a thing just straight up for air damage right there. Uh, pull that one back. I think that's what I want to do. Maybe. And then I can put him over here. We'll pull that one back. Yep. Okay. We're good. We are good. Okay. So now we've got a course. Uh, an opportunity to send one of your employees to an intensive training course. We can do an event. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. You have received a letter from Monster Training Center offering to train one of your employees for a large amount of gold. The training would take eight weeks plus two levels. I'm going to do it because this one in its current state is not that strong to me. So two levels would be really nice. Uh, let's see. We got the merchant. and eh, do an event. 
slimy yet satisfying. A giant worm has oozed its way into the lower levels of the dungeon. What will you do with it once you've killed it? Plus 60 life if you eat it. Uh, yeah, we're going to eat it right now. Yeah, that gave us a little bit of a bonus right there. Nice. Excellent. Awesome. Let me double check. Our guys are in... Ah, see, it did. It took... Yeah, because you were the other one with air damage. Okay. Her... All right, well, that, I mean, that works even better later on. So let's go ahead and do this one. Let's see what happens here. All right, ooh, see, who's that? Colossal Hydra, ooh, see, now we're getting into some stuff. I like it. I do like it, so let's do you, do you, and do you. Go ahead, so we got a disaster. We got the monsters. We're going to have the spell room. There's our Hydra. Uh, trap room. Okay, so who's in the next one? Um, physical, physical, nature, and I don't remember what the succubus does. Okay, so what do we have here? You are weak against nature. Weak against nature. And you are weak against ice. how strong ice ice and you're not affected by ice okay do I hit them with the heavy ones or what are you at on fire 10% I'm gonna hit them with the ice and then We'll do this guy, this one, and I think you. And the last one, do I want to do ice? Or do I want to do... I think we're going to do bleeding. Yep, we're going to do bleeding. Ah, fresh meat! Yes, fresh meat. Aha. Uh -huh. Awesome. Oh, look at that dude's helmet. That's funny looking. All right, so we got Swarm of Bats. We can do 40 physical damage. That's pretty good. Five bleeding, and then they'll do 25 life on the next. So that'll be 65 life total from that. Uh, we can do minus 30 morale. Wow, that just barely even moves the morale. Or we can do Heat Wave, which does 50 and applies fire weakness. Our next set of monsters don't have any fire I don't think uh, let's see you're weak you're zero and you're at ten mm. I guess we'll do the swarm of bats Okay, let's go ahead and hasten our guys. Okay, so I can do a shrill shout. 25 air damage minus 12 morale. What is your... Uh, you're strong against air. You're weak against air. Oh, but that's ice damage. How are you on ice? Uh, you're weak on ice. Let's do it. Okay, and then I'm gonna do. I mean, I could slow them, but that's not really gonna do a whole lot, is it? I mean, they're all gonna hit me. I'm gonna hit them with ice. Maximum damage inflicted. Mm. Oh, that one looks like it's going to hit all three of them. Let's do that. Yeah, hit all three of them. He's gone. He's gone. And 
here I was thinking we were doing good. Let's see, we can do 66 burning damage, applies burn 3, enrage the next group of monsters. So does that mean if I enraged, would that mean my Hydra gets enraged? Or does it mean my group of monsters? Because if the Hydra got enraged, that might be worth doing. Uh, let's just do the physical. Let's hurt them. Yes, big old Hydra. Ooh, and the Hydra has the shell on it. Oh, the Hydra has 300 health, too. Nice. Okay, so what shall I do? We can hit the one in the front. I can hit the one in the back. 56 nature damage. Are you... You're at 25%. Or I can do breath of fire and hit all three. Uh, oh, you have a dodge. You would have a dodge, too. Hit all three and remove that dodge. Will he survive? Right. Ew, barely. That was kind of cool. And the Hydra's down. I mean, it was another... Another buffer there, though. Alright, that one in the back should be done. Ah, yeah, that's what you get. Trying to dodge everything. That is what you get. Yeah, let's put a little poison. A little cleave. Ooh. Vicious. Nice, that one's done. Now we got three on one. And we still have a three on one. He should have hit the front one. Well, I guess he probably doesn't have that attack. Nope, only the back one. Break your armor. Um... Yeah, let's hit you with that. Keep that poison coming. And he's dead. And he is dead. Alright, so we get either another Icy Breeze, a Cursed Prism, uh, applies Elemental Weakness 4, Resistance is reduced by 20. That's probably not too bad. Or I can do a level two. Or, oh, these are all level two. I just realized that. Um, I want the cauldron. That way I can have one to do another fire damage. I like it. I like it, guys. All right. So we don't have enough money for the engineer nor for the trainer. So we'll have to do an event. Let's do an event. Go fetch during walkies. Chalcodon ran after an elf and fetched it back to the dungeon in small pieces, one in each mouth. So cute. Take 20 blood. Okay, so we we took him on walkies and we got extra blood. I like that. I do like that. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and hold off here at week 41. Uh, we're doing things. We're up to level 3. 
Our guy is healing. Um, he's been able to skip out a couple of battles. I would love to get a bonus to that to up that, but you know, it is what it is. We've got a couple artifacts. We've got a colossal hydra to help us out. And I am very interested to see what the next part of the game has to offer, what's in store for us. So, but anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.